new quest free updates, full body tracking, major VR game sales, and Steam VR updates are just a few of the topics we'll be discussing in this video. My name's Lord Z, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Meta just announced their brand new version 60 update. It brings a bunch of new features to the platform. No date has been announced, but they said it's going to be coming soon. So what's in the update? My favorite part is that the mixed reality is getting a major upgrade in performance, reducing the CPU and GPU speed reduction during real world pass through. This will increase the CPU's performance by up to 34% and increase the GPUs by 90%. That's a pretty big jump for an update. There's an improved boundary recall, cloud computing capabilities added to the safety boundary system. This allows the headset to remember more boundaries. Users can enable share point cloud data to send 3D point cloud for storage and processing on the meta servers. It also enables share space correlation for local multiplayer, which is really cool. Pass through during app load replaces the black loading screens with pass through capabilities when launching Unity made games on the Quest. I would rather see my room than the black abyss of death. <laughs> Developers can vote for Unity to support pass through in splash screens. Horizon World's destination will be by default in libraries. It adds a world tab to the library listing Horizon World destinations and specific worlds are not disclosed yet. New home environments, yippee. <laughs> Three new environments for Horizon Home, the Blue Hill Gold Mine, which is Wild West themed, Storybook, pop-up book themed, Lakeside Peak, which is snow-capped mountain views. Phone notifications were removed. Previously, phone notifications could appear in the headset, and for no reason in version 60, it seems that they have removed this. Native notifications for Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp are staying, but I'll keep you updated when we get more information. We now have a new built-in measuring app. It's a new mixed reality app that allows for spatial measuring, alignment, and visualization of real world objects. It can measure room areas, the size of a TV, and measure furniture's depth and height. Cloud backup end-to-end -end encryption for automatic cloud backups. Users can set an encryption pin for even more enhanced security to ensure that your saves and data don't get corrupted or attacked. Mutual apps on profiles. When browsing social profiles, users can now see mutually owned apps and mutually app owned and used by both parties. So that's a bunch of amazing stuff coming in version 60. With no release date, there's still things that can be added and I'll keep you updated right here on the channel. So make sure to subscribe, please help. Steam VR streaming app. Finally, Steam have launched their Steam VR app on Quest platforms, allowing users to ste stream Steam games. Ste allowing users to st stream Steam VR games and normal Steam games on giant virtual screens. This has been a widely appreciated move from the VR community, with the CTO of Meta even praising the decision. It's worth mentioning that this still requires you to own a PC capable of running these more intensive PC VR games. However, instead of using the link cable or the Oculus terrible PC app, you can now directly stream it from Steam. Steam, Steam it from Oh my. Steam said that 42% of their VR player base was on Quest headsets. So this decision only made sense for them. Meta no longer develops for their PC platform besides minor little updates to the Oculus app. The Quest 3 doesn't even support 120 Hertz via the Oculus app. That's not all for Steam news. I think I have some info on a potential Valve 2, but I'm gonna save those speculations and rumors for a separate video here on this channel. The Steam news doesn't stop here. Steam VR Fest is on right now. From December the 4th to December the 11th, 10 a.m. PT, there are major amounts of PC VR games on Steam for sale. You can see some of them on the screen now, but if you're looking to get into PC VR eventually, or you currently play on it, it's a great time to get yourself some discounted games for PC VR. Before our next story, we don't have a sponsor for this video, but I'm just going to ask you guys to maybe leave a comment. Do I do VR Let's Play games 
here on this channel or do I upload them to a separate channel? And I promise I'll respond to every single comment. Okay, let's go. Vive Ultimate Trackers. HTC announced the other day their brand new Vive Ultimate Trackers. It's a self-tracking device that doesn't need base stations or a PC. People use it to track their torso, elbows, legs, or feet. Full body tracking is most commonly used in games like VR Chat or Bespoke. Now how it works is it has high FOV cameras to capture a wide field of view. It has an onboard processor and high precision positional tracking algorithms. It does. It wirelessly connects to a USB-C dongle, which actually supports five trackers at a time. Unfortunately, right now, it only supports HTC standalone headsets wirelessly, like the Vive XR Elite and the Vive Focus 3. However, they said they do plan to support third-party standalone headsets, which could hint at the Quest series, which would only make sense for them from a business perspective. Otherwise, Meta will just create their own version of it. However, they do already work on Steam VR. So now that we can stream our Steam VR games, maybe that's one way we can use them wirelessly on our Quest headsets. It's roughly 50% slimmer and only 25% heavier than the previous trackers, and it has 7 hours of battery life, which is really good for a small device. It's priced at $200 each, then requires the USB-C dongle for an extra $40. Now you might potentially want some more straps to go along with that, and that will cost you a little bit of extra money. But on the topic of HTC, VR Chat is now available on the standalone Vive XR Elite with support of full body trackers. Beat Saber is also getting an upgrade on the Quest 3. There is now a new experimental performance toggle that lets you switch between 90 hertz and 120 hertz. Now selecting the 120 hertz, we, we don't know what graphical performance is sacrificed to allow for this, but I'll keep you updated as soon as I have more information. But also with this, we're getting the new OST 6, which includes four new songs completely free, which is Lindsay Sterling, Heavyweight, Far Out, Lift Off, Dragon Force, Power of the Saber Blade, and Camellia Tempo Katana. Shink. Oh. The free update is out now on Quest, Steam, and PlayStation VR. If you are a Pico 4 user or a PSVR 2 user, then you are in luck because Among Us VR is now available on both of these platforms. Now, Five Night at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 is also coming to PC VR next week, and I'll also be uploading a gameplay video of that. If you are a MetaQuest Plus subscriber, then the games this month that you can claim for free is Fill of the Fight and Swarm. Both of these are redeemable until December the 31st, so if you are a Quest Plus subscriber, make sure to get that immediately. With all of that being said, subscribe to stay up to date with VR News, comment your thoughts on everything we discussed, and drop a like to support the channel. Have a great day, and peace.